Hi, I'm Dan Leonard. And I'm George Whittem. And we're here for VoiceOver Body Shop tonight. Uh, Amber Hood is our guest. We're going to talk about her career in animation and acting. Uh, I'm at a really cool place because, as you can see, I'm not in California. Back home in Buffalo. Anything interesting? I'm back in Buffalo. And we're going to have a good time tonight with Amber Hood, who's here in the studio. She's entertaining the dogs right now. Are they entertaining her? I'm not sure. But it goes both ways. We're going to have a great time tonight, and we're not going to, without any further delay, coming right back Go. here. Go! Two men, twin sons from different mothers, with a passion for voiceover recording technology and the desire to make recording easy for voice actors everywhere, together in one place. George Whittem, the home studio engineer to the stars, a Virginia Tech grad with an unmatched knowledge of all the latest gear and technology in voiceover today. Dan Leonard, the home studio master, a voice actor with over 30 years of experience in broadcasting and recording, and the myth-busting attitude for teaching you how easy it is. Together, finally, to bring you all the latest technology, superstars of voiceover today, and leading the discussion on how to make the most of your voiceover business, this is Voice Over Body Shop. Voice Over Body Shop is brought to you by VoiceOverEssentials.com, home of Harlan Hogan's signature products. Antland Productions, where you can get a killer demo. Source Elements, your source for Source Connect, Source Connect Pro, and Source Connect Now. VO2GoGo.com and Rehearsal App. VoiceOver Extra, your one stop for voiceover resources. Edge Studio, find your voice. And Visi Demos, your audio demo never looked so good. And now, live from their super secret multimedia studio in Sherman Oaks, California, here are George Whittem and Dan Leonard. Hey everybody, this is George Whittem. And I'm Dan Leonard in the East. How long has it been since we did that? <laughs> and this is VoiceOver. Body Shop. Or VO. BS. BS. I'll tell you, it's the first time Dan and I have done the show where he is the remote and I'm in the studio in a long time. And we're a yeah. little bit rusty, but we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna keep going. We're gonna push forward. <laughs> <sighs> Gotta do that. Yeah, I'm in Buffalo. I'm I'm in this really cool hotel. We're gonna show a little video about that in just a little bit. And we've got Amber Hood with us tonight, who's gonna talk about uh, animation, doing animation voice work, and about a thing that she's producing for kids which ought to be really interesting. I got a kid. So you got a kid. Yeah, I know you got a kid. <laughs> I'm really glad to see that. I'm excited to see what she has to say. Yeah. So we'll find out what age group it's for and if it's something Ella would really enjoy. Absolutely. I'm sure she will anyway, but uh, let's get the show on the road. It's time for. And now the voiceover extra VOBS news. The latest and most comprehensive voiceover industry news. Brought to you live. All right, time for the VOBS voiceover extra news. And tonight's story, voiceover career reality check. You know, these days, what's news and rumors? What news and rumors can you believe? You know, it's troubling to sort it all out and downright scary when the predictions and warnings and rumors hit the voiceover industry, like we're all going to be replaced by robots, or you just can't make money like you used to, or everyone who has a USB mic and a laptop thinks they're a voice talent, and on and on and on. Well, time for a reality check. In fact, take five. That's five. There we go. Anyway, in a new article on VoiceOver Extra, longtime VO pro Dan Hurst, and a great guy, gives us five reality checks about succeeding in voiceover today, which lets you figure how and where to fit into the scheme of things. Number one, other voice talents are not your competition. Your true competition is the client who does not hire you. So work with prospects and clients figure what they want, and meet their individual needs. Two, 
Low ball voice talents attract low ball clients. No question about it. Good, says Dan, let them. Low ball clients come with problems. You're better off finding ways to position yourself to provide better benefits and value to your better paying clients. Number three, the vast majority of part-time voice talents need the P2P sites. These are the subscription online casting sites or pay to play. The problems we hear so much about concern the business models and ethics of some of these sites. But Dan says the P2P concept is valid and that these services can be useful to all voice talents. Just remember that P2P sites are not agents. They don't get you the work. They are simply clearinghouses, dating sites, so as you might say, for voice talents and businesses. They're the places to establish a business and build relationships. Four, decide if you're an amateur or a professional. Both are legitimate pursuits, but one is a hobby and one is a business. And number five, realize that you ain't good at everything. Find your niche and set the standard there. Dan fleshes out the details in this article now at voiceoverextra.com. And it's all free at your daily resource for voiceover success. And that's the news. Thank you, sir. Very nicely done. You're welcome. Um, Yeah, so we're still like kind of thinking about all the cool stuff that we covered at NAB. And uh, we do have a lot of video. Video. We don't want to run tons of video and stretch the show out tonight because we really want to make sure we get to our, our guest who's waiting patiently for us. But uh, we do have one video package. Uh, Andrew, is this the one that we did of vocalbooth.com, Dan, I believe? I believe so. Cool. And uh, next week we'll run some more when we've got a regular show going on next week. But uh, this week we're going to run our vocalbooth.com video. And Dan, uh, Andrew, let's let her rip. And we're here with VoiceOver Body Shop, and we're with Guy Coleman yes, sir. from VocalBooth.com. VocalBooth.com. We all know how important a good acoustical environment is for recording your voiceover, and that's what you guys do. What is the real competitive point of difference with VocalBooth versus all your competitors and a lot of closets with a lot of clothes in them? Oh, boy. Uh, let's see. Selection. 200 different sizes in both double wall, single wall models, uh, about five dozen options on top of that. Uh, solid core OSB cores. Uh, we build our own hard uh, solid core doors. We have our own metal shop. Uh, there's a number of things that we do that is significantly different than uh, those that are in the same space as us. This particular model is the Gold Series. It's a multi-layer single wall model. Uh, it's great for home studios or, or spaces that don't have a lot of external noise but that have, have very good acoustic inside. This particular model, we, like I said, we can do 200 different sizes and you can see some of the, uh, some of the uh, accoutrements to this, uh, like these panels that we get out of Portugal, for example. Uh, they're not cheap, but they work really well. And then, we, of course, we have our standard, uh, our own version, what we call VB uh, Studio Foam, which is a two-inch pyramid, wow. LED lighting, uh, ventilation systems, and cable passage ports. You can see some of the, the uh, access points there. And then around this side, I'll show you kind of this. Sorry about that. Okay. Show you the secret to... Uh, to our system, our baffle, completely treated baffle boxes. Uh, this is your outtake where it's pulling warmed up air out, going through an acoustically three treated duct, and then comes out virtually through a virtually silent fan. And that pulls that, and that other box over there, with that door closed, uh, it pulls all the cool air in, that drops to the floor, and it cycles 100% uh, of air every four minutes. This is called the Diamond Series. In the Diamond Series, we can do uh, both in single wall, which like we have here, and a double wall. And there's all kinds of options. You know, it's got a huge window in here that you know I would steer a VO artist certainly away. What from. are you What are you looking at? You're supposed yeah, to be looking at yeah, your script. Exactly. You know, you don't need everybody to see what you're doing. Uh, this we do one size smaller than this and two sizes larger. This is really good. Good podcasting size. Uh, good size for you could get a, a couple of people in there comfortable, even with a desk, right. a small table. 
and to work from. Uh, and then, of course, uh, our top of the line is the Platinum Series. And the Platinum Series is a double wall model, floating subfloor, and in this particular version, the walls are lined with mass-loaded vinyl. Uh, and we started doing that primarily for some of the, our technical uh, technology people that are testing very high sensitive equipment and they want this as quiet a unit as possible, but they don't want to build out. They want to be able to take it from factory or office to, to those locations. So it's very mobile. So we're kind of, you're kind of getting a little, little bit of noise from out here. Let's so go yeah. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. Right. He closes the door. Get a little pressure in the ears. And now... You're in a, a relatively silent, uh, where it's usually about, averages about 75% of what's going on outside of the booth gets reduced about 75% in this particular model. You can't hear anything on the outside. You can hear a little bit of a hum, and that's probably more from the ventilation than anything outside, else. That's probably the only place that any little bit of, of noise might begin, or, or uh, we've got double sealed doors. Right. Uh, but uh, for the most part, for what somebody's doing, whether they're recording a Grammy, potential Grammy winning record, or they're testing uh, microphones on cell phones uh, or other kinds of medical devices, or even just having a, putting your son in here that uh, likes to play drums. <laughs> which, which is really what these things were originally exactly. designed for. It's exactly. like, don't bother the parents. Exactly. Put them, in, a, put them in, a, in an isolation mm -hmm. booth. And so what are price points on, on these types of price booths? Price points in a double wall model, like I said, we, do two, we start at four foot by four foot. And you're, you know, you're looking at about, uh, about 70, Five hundred dollars for a four by four. This model we're in is uh, is a is a seven by nine, but it's uh, got extended height and it's got a, some some upgrades to it. It's right around twenty six thousand, but that includes everything between you know in the U.S. it's the freight and windows, all kinds. Of, as you see, there's a couple of different window options here, and that's just some of them. From low to high, I mean, for someone that really needs something basic, what are we talking something about? Something basic, you can get into a completely basic full booth with a with a door window for uh, four thousand eight ninety five delivered. Right, and you can go up to a sixteen foot by thirty two foot fully tricked out double wall and pay three hundred thousand. <laughs> just in case you have just that in your wallet. Have that. Laying around. Yeah, great. Guy, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Appreciate you guys thinking of us. You are competing for work with other voice talents, and every one of them has a powerful, unique, engaging voice demo. Your voice demo needs to stand out from the crowd in an unforgettable way. Now it can. Vizzy Visual Voice Demos take your awesome voice demo and add a visual element, reinforcing your brand. Your demo will leave a lasting impression because it stimulates two senses instead of just one. Your voice is your livelihood. You need an effective demo to open doors of opportunity. Blow those doors down with a Vizzy visual voice demo. Visit VizzyDemos.com for more information. Your audio demo never looked so good. Take your voice demos to the next level, a visual level, with Vizzy visual voice demos. Mention Voice Over Body Shop and get an additional 10% off. Well, this is my chance to tell you guys about our friends over at Source Elements, the creators of Source Connect, a fantastic software tool for connecting your studio to other recording studios anywhere in the world over the internet. Very, very high quality audio, very reliable connections when your networks are configured correctly. And it's just the heir apparent to those out there that are using ISDN, that want to have a backup to ISDN, an alternative to ISDN, or just can't get ISDN, period, and ISDN is now a non, just not even available. Many people out there are finding ISDN to be way, way out of their price range now, even commercial studios with prices that are actually getting closer and closer to $1,000 a month in some markets. So this is a, a very wise buy, a very good alternative. And if you want to give, them a give, a give it a go, you can get Source Connect Standard for uh, roughly $6.95 for a one-time buy license that you never have to pay again. Or it's about $35 a month, and you can start using it right away on a 15-day free trial. Go ahead and sign up over at source-elements.com to get going. And give them a try and let them know that we sent you. And we'd love to know your experience with using Source Connect here on VOBS. We'll be right back here with Amber right after this break. Man, there's one show that I can't miss. 
is called V-O-B-S. And a lot of people are like, V-O-B-S? What is that? That is BS about V-O. And I love V-O. How much BS is going to be in this show? There's only one way to find out, baby. You're listening to V-O-B-S. You're still watching V-O-B-S? <laughs> You're still watching V-O-B-S? <laughs> You're still watching V-O-B-S? <laughs> Hiya, V-O friends. You say you ain't booked a V-O gig in seven years? And your demo is so old that you can hear the clicks from the stock music records? And you hear so much tape hiss that you run to the sink to see if the faucet is running? And the engineer used so much echo on your voice that it sounds like it was recorded in the Grand Canyon. And the scripts seem a bit dated, too, advertising the new and improved 1938 Plymouth Road King. <gasps> Is that what's been troubling you, Bunky? Well, lift your head up high and take a walk in the sun. Your demo can be killer, too. Just contact Uncle Roy at AtlantProductions.com and book yourself a shiny new killer demo. Show your stick to and show the world. You'll never give up, never give up, never give up. That dream. Hey, you know, if you're a voice actor who also works on camera or would like like to add on camera acting to your portfolio, here's a great way to master the studio and performance techniques you need to work on camera. And the content will take advantage of all you know about working on mic. It's called Camera Ready You, and it's been created by vo to go goes David H. Lawrence the 17th. He's pretty well known in the voiceover industry, but he's also a seasoned TV and film actor and will share all the knowledge he's gained working on camera in this particular class. Working on camera can be deceptively hard, but David's put together a special report called the top five mistakes people make on camera and how to fix them. It's absolutely free. And to get what it, to get it, all you have to do is text on camera, one word, to 44222. That's on camera, call, text it to 44222 on any smartphone or messaging device. You probably have unlimited text messaging on your phone, but standard messaging rates apply. So what are you going to learn? How to set up your studio, your lights, your camera, your mic, how to tape on camera auditions, how to master business presentations, video podcasts like ours, VOBS, online instruction, lessons, marketing, marketing videos, and more. You'll learn how to shine on camera. Don't know which camera to use? Okay, what camera do you use? Uh, don't know which lavalier or boom mic to buy? Don't know what to do with your hands or eyes? No worries. Camera Ready You will cover all of that. Become an on-camera actor as well as a voiceover talent with Camera Ready You. Again, get that free top five mistakes people make on camera and how to fix them report and get on the list on your smartphone. Text on camera to 44222. That's one word on camera to 44222 and get ready for camera ready you. That's all one word on camera to 44222 and get ready for camera ready you. Minus four, are we at minus four dB? We're at minus four dB on VOBS. Learn the latest in voiceover technology. Business. At good old fashioned acting. Hey, Paul, I really like your suit. Where did you get it? It looks good on you. This is VOBS. All right, we're back here on Voiceover Body Shop. Now I'm here in Buffalo. Uh, you know, we're here for our bar mitzvah. Our, my son's graduating from college, so we're back east. And Marcy and I decided to stay at a unique new hotel here in Buffalo. So check it out. One of Buffalo's most iconic buildings and a National Historic Landmark, the 145-year-old Richardson Olmsted campus is being renewed after years of neglect. Designed by one of America's premier architects, Henry Hobson Richardson, in concert with the famed landscape team of Frederick Law Olmsted and Calvert Vaux, 
the building was completed in the late 1800s as the Buffalo State Asylum for the Insane. It incorporated a system of enlightened treatment for people with mental illness developed by Dr. Thomas Story Kirkbride, in part by providing pleasing surroundings. Over the years, as mental health treatment changed and the resources were diverted, the buildings and grounds began a slow deterioration. Today, the Richardson Olmsted campus is being transformed into a cultural amenity for the city, beginning with the Hotel Henry Urban Resort Conference Center, where we are today, in the iconic Towers Building, and the two flanking buildings, which is about a third of the complex. Throughout the building, Hotel Henry's uncommon spaces invite guests to explore, gather, and tuck away in the unique character of Buffalo's National Historic Landmark. This is the distinct Hotel Henry experience. Rooms embody a variety of unique layouts with efficient use of the Richardson Olmsted campus's original design. The true Hotel Henry experience includes more than just your guest room. Interior and exterior spaces invite guests to find their own corner and make their own experience. Cool, huh? It's uh, it, it was an insane asylum, and it was, <laughs> it was, and now it's this beautiful, magnificent hotel that we're staying at, and uh, and it looks like the, the the video feed from here isn't too bad either. No, it's pretty uh, good. I think you must you're the only ones literally staying in the hotel, so you get the full width of the pipe tonight. <laughs> yeah, ex exactly. Now this is like right next to Buffalo State College. I used to go to school here and I lived on the other side of this building and I had to walk through here through this really spooky building when it was falling apart and through a tunnel and back over to my house over on the other side oh, of that's this, creepy. this complex. It must be really it, strange staying in there now as a hotel. I, no, I, nobody's been in this building. This thing has been empty since like the 1974. So, wow. uh, and, it, and, and they finally, because it's an architectural gem, they decided maybe we should do something with it. And it makes a really cool hotel. Anyway, enough about that. We have a new, we have a great guest tonight who's going to talk to us a little bit about animation and uh, a little bit about her career. And we'd like to welcome to VoiceOver Body Shop, Amber Hood. Amber, welcome. Hello. Thank you so much for having me. Hey, Amber. Thanks for being <laughs> Hello, here with us. Good to see you. <laughs> It's such a novel <clears throat> novelty for me because usually the guest is way over there. I don't get to <laughs> shake your hand on camera, so it's fun. Here we are. Thanks for coming. Thanks for yeah. having me, guys. Uh, it's our pleasure to have you here. <laughs> uh, so, so Amber, tell us where you're from originally. Sure. Uh, I'm originally from Anaheim, which isn't very far from L.A. Uh, mm -hmm. I grew up there near Disneyland. Um, love Disneyland, of course. And... Um, Went to college at Cal State Fullerton, and I was actually going to go into law school. I graduated with psychology, criminal justice, and uh, ah. I decided to, after graduation, move down to San Diego Pacific Beach for a year, just chill, see what I wanted to do, and I was going to go into law school. I was looking at it, but my mom said, Amber... Your voice. I don't think they're going to take you very seriously. <laughs> He's innocent! Um, so, uh, anyway, that didn't really deter me, but uh, my that's kind of how voiceover came into my life at that point. Um, my best friend and I were at a bar on a Friday night, and we were dancing, and she went up to the bar to get a drink, and there was this guy sitting up there, and he was doing some doodles of Pocahontas on his napkin. And she knew I loved Disney, so she said, you have to meet my friend, you have to meet my friend. And so I met him, and we became friends. And one night, we were out, and he said, you know, you need to be in voiceover. And I just said, well, what is that? What do you mean? And he goes, you know, the voices in the Disney movies, and you need to do that. And so the next week, I went to my job in San Diego, and I started looking in the phone book, and I found an acting school that was voiceover that's it was just one this was 21 years ago I think and um, I went there and she's she had me audition 
a Snow White copy. And I, I just read it, and I put the copy down, and she goes, are you willing to move to Los Angeles? And I said, yeah. <laughs> and she said, you have a, I think you have a chance. Or, so... You were the voice I, that was in her head, I guess, huh? I guess, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. yeah, I started to do classes. I drive up from San Diego once a week, and I told myself if I was competitive, I would move to L.A. within a year, and um, that's what I did. So, hmm. yeah. yeah. See, that's a perfect ex example of what we always talk about on this show, that you know, when the opportunity comes, after all the work you've done, when you're there, that one chance you get, you got to deliver. Yeah. And, and you were able to do that because you were prepared. Yes. Oh, my gosh. You have to take classes. No doubt about it. That's what I tell anyone and everyone. How do I get into voiceover? You know, it's, it's about the acting and uh, classes. You have, to, you have to keep your instrument prepared and ready for that moment, that audition that's coming to you. Um, mm -hmm. But... As I was commuting to L.A. for that year, I would take class after class, anyone I could get in front of. And then this one class, it was Rick Dempsey. He was with Disney. He still is. But at that time, I had just met him. And at the end of the class, he said, you know, you really do have a shot. So the next day, I went and I quit my job. And they were totally supportive because they knew I'd been doing the commuting from San Diego. And got an apartment and moved here with my best friend and then started to find an agent, tried to find an agent. But I kept doing classes. Improv is so important with voiceover right now, especially in animation. Um, your acting chops, you got to keep them strong. It's what, so what, important. What year was it when you were looking for an agent, roughly? Uh, 1998, 99. Okay, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So you, but you also were doing on-screen stuff too. So you were also uh, no, 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 no. You didn't do any on-screen. I've never, no, I never, um, I never even thought of that. I'm just starting to think of that now. But mm -hmm. my heart was always in voiceover. I just love being in front of the mic and making people laugh and having a good time. It's just the best. I just felt and I just felt it just when I started. Because when I went to college, everybody seemed to know what they wanted to do. And I was kind of, why don't I feel that way, you know? So I liked the law and everything, but the minute I've discovered voiceover, it, that was it. I'm in. It was so wonderful. Yeah. Now, you're, you're doing, you've been primarily doing animation work. And it's not as easy as it looks, despite what, you know, Chris Rock might say. <laughs> um, no. It's 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 hard work, and you're you're getting on a drug. What's it really like when you're when you're in the studio? What and what sort of things are you experiencing? Well, I mean, animation is really hard to get a break into. It's like on camera acting. You could audition for twenty years and finally get a break. You know, um, it's it's hard. It's it's skill, and just being in the room with. People like Jennifer Hale or Rob Paulson and Lara Jill Miller, oh, yeah. just being with them feels amazing. And I'm learning all the time. I'm learning all the time. So, yeah. 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 I suppose working with those people. I mean, I've talked to a lot of guys that work in these studios and they're like, I don't take any classes. I work with the best people and I learn from them. And I'm sure you're learning a lot from people like Rob Paulson. Yeah, that's true. Um, but I still think classes are so important and these days which they did not have 20 years ago you can actually be in front of casting directors for three hours in one night you know voiceover uh network and all these yeah. different opportunities it, they didn't have that back then mm -hmm. so it's really great for voice actors that want to get into the business and really be in front of people that are casting projects today Right. Yeah. And you've all, and you've also been doing video games, I take it. Yeah. Um mostly I I do video I do video games but the the uh, mostly I've been doing for the past 5 years a lot of toys for babies. I do a mm -hmm. lot of work with Fisher Price. Um Laugh uh, and yes. Learn Toys. And they're doing webisodes now with the same character that was a toy. Now she's in the webisode. So she's animated now. 
Are well, you doing the, it's, it, go, it's okay go ahead. again. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, the, the toy. Rec- I'm, I'm, I, I always want to know how things are recorded. I'm, I'm the geekier one. <laughs> The toy stuff, are you doing that from a home studio or do you go into no, studio? No, no, I go in the studio for that. They're yeah. in New York yeah. and I'm here and they're in my ears. So uh, they so send doing me. ISDN or Source Connect or something like that? Yeah, at a studio. Mm-hmm. Um, so they send me the songs ahead of time and the scripts because I need extra time with the songs. I'm not a great singer, so I need time to really get that song in my body. <laughs> so they're generous mm-hmm. enough and. They're wonderful. Wow. Yeah. To send that's, it ahead that's cool of time. That you're work, it's cool that you're working for Fisher Price, which is based here in Buffalo, by the way. That's right. Uh, that's, that's absolutely right. right. Gerard. Because yeah, I, I, on the plane out here, I was sitting with some guy who works for Fisher Price. No that way. Was cool. It was great to hear that. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I actually did something for Fisher Price many years ago. Oh, my uh, God. The studio here at Buffalo. They, they needed somebody who could do Big Bird for some demo product. Oh, cool. And they're like, you know, they're like, can you count to 10 like Big Bird? I'm sure. Sure. One, two, three, four. <laughs> yeah, it, was, it was, that's, that's what it's all about. And you're, if yep. you're able to just be able to turn that on, but uh, yeah, well, that's great that you were doing stuff. all those toys. <laughs> yeah. And then Fisher Price makes a lot of that. Yes. They anyway, do. they're wonderful. Yeah. So what other, what other projects you've been working on? Uh, well, I just did a big project, but we're not allowed to talk about it. Under um, NDA. <laughs> NDA. <laughs> yes, yeah. NDA. Mm-hmm. But I'm excited about that. It's my first movie. Um, let's see. Uh, the Fisher Price, of course. And I'm producing my fourth children's app right now. So the script's going through rewrites right now. Um, and it's called World of Liberty. Mm-hmm. And I... I treat it like a show because I want it to be a show. That's the dream. Yeah. That's my dream. So I do all the, I produce it. I voice cast it with boy, uh, Rob Paulson's the dad. Um, and I voice, uh, I voice Liberty, but the main character, but all, I try to voice all my friends in it. <laughs> that's, a, that's a smart idea. Yeah. <laughs> so it really, you know, it's that whole, Rising of the tides raids all yeah. raises all boats. Is that what the so is that the saying? Did I butcher that badly enough? <laughs> um, Close enough. A rising tide rises raises all boats. Thank you, thank you. You yeah. Uh, so I'm wor- working on that right now, and it's a lot of fun. Is that the one we have a clip for? Yes. Hey, Andrew, well, why don't we you take a look at a, a clip yes. from the show? This is for App Three, World of Liberty. World of Liberty. Hi, my name is Liberty Lane. I live in the United States of America. Where should we go first, Ellie? My magic magnifying glass will help us choose. (laughs) There it is, Ellie. Kansas. (laughs) Here we go. Hi, Georgie. You're just in time. Next adventure, Massacre. We'll always have friends in America. Sweet. <laughs> Very cool. I watched Very it earlier. Cool. So I it's an educational it. adventure app. So it's cool. I love it. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. So what what does it take to be a producer for that? And and what does that involve? Well, I think it I think you have to know what your purpose is. Um for me, like I said, I wanted it to be I want it to be a show someday and pitch it. So I wrote a script. I hired an artist. He drew it out like a storybook. And then I cast the voices in it. And then the app, you find an app maker and he puts it all together like a puzzle. So it's a lot. It's a lot. But you don't have to do it that way. It just depends on what kind of app you want to make. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? I just happened to catch in the uh, chat room. Joy Baker says, what age is uh, is the app? Is the app for? What's the age range? Um. I would say the youngest would be four. Mm -hmm. Uh, The younger kids really enjoy the characters, but the concept they're not getting right away. Um, Five and up get more of the concept. And Mm -hmm. up to, I have an 11 year old girl that reads the scripts first for me because I really like to get her her opinion because the main character is 11. So it's really awesome. Even she learns stuff, even adults learn stuff from it. It's Mm -hmm. just a really fun adventure app series great so and and, and you and you've, you've done you just finished the fourth one yes i just finished the fourth script 
but we haven't released, um, we haven't started the artwork yet. Artwork yet. Ah, okay, very cool, very cool. Um, and and it's 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 great when you can take control of your own projects. Like oh my that. gosh, That's... it's so awesome! I learned a lot. I'm just being calling Screen Actors Guild to try to be a signatory because in order to hire the SAG actors, you have to be a signatory. You have to go through exactly what you would do if you were making a movie or, you know, so that was a huge learning curve. Um, but this, the people at SAG are great. They want you to succeed. Um, so yeah, it was a, a lot of learning for sure. Right. Yeah. Lots of paperwork. Oh my gosh. Stuff a lot of paperwork yeah. and I don't have a, I, I did it all. So I like it though. I love it. The voiceover really part's cool. the best part. <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, well, you get you get to do your own stuff, which is always lots of fun. Um, if anybody's got a question for Amber about this or or some other stuff about the animation business and doing voice work and animation, uh, throw it into our chat room. And I know Anthony is there and he will get that question to us. Let me ask you this. We, we, we talked to Bill Farmer about this last week. OK, what are what are animation casting directors and voice directors looking for? in animation auditions and 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 I'm, let's take this in a, in a really broad context not just uh you know an agent says okay they want you to audition for this there's a lot of people trying to get into animation uh especially in video games and you see them on the on the p2p sites and various other places maybe you're on a roster and they'll throw you a script what's going to make you stand out in, in an audition you know it doesn't really depend on the character but what's going to allow you to to catch their eye right or catch their ear right away. Um, I think I heard this once in a class from Jeannie McSwain, the director. She said, it's important. Uh, the acting is what's going to, you're acting and being smarter than the script almost to make it your own. And she said, some actresses that she, I see actresses because she was using a girl as an example. She knows when that actress walks in, she's smarter. She's almost outsmarting the script and that really gets them, you know, or the improv stuff is so important with animation, of course. But um, uh, on the my agents, when they send an, uh, animation auditions to me and others, um, the, there's an information sheet and they'll say, real or cartoony and those circle real or cartoony um <laughs> but i've got a lot of the natural lately they want the natural voice lately um but i just think it's important to work on your acting skills and um that's the real base of it i think mm-hmm all righty. Well, again, if you've got a question for Amber, uh, let's talk about animation and uh, we'll continue this discussion here on VoiceOver Body Shop in just a minute. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Learning never ends. You continue to grow. Edge Studio has grown. Pursue multiple disciplines in tandem and grow your career. We've added new courses in a new curriculum. We picked the best coaches from the community of working voice actors. A new technology division, engineering and consulting, led by George Whittem. Follow your dream. Sign up for advanced learning or register for an introduction to voice acting or foundation studies program. See it all now at the new edgestudio.com. Quality voiceover studio? No wonder. The information out there is mostly mythology. This is the best microphone to use. You have to have a preamp. You need a soundproof booth. This software is the best. Your audio must be broadcast quality. Consult with someone who knows the truth. Someone who's been there, in the trenches, doing voiceover for over 30 years. Someone with unparalleled experience with voiceover studios, who's worked with hundreds of voice actors and designed hundreds of personal studios. He knows how to teach and cares about your success in one of the harshest environments known to voiceover, your home. Dan Leonard, the home studio master. Separate myth from fact and get a handle on your personal voiceover studio. 
Contact the Home Studio Master at homevoiceoverstudio.com. Drop off a specimen of your dry audio for a free analysis. VOBS is still on? Seriously? VOBS is still on? Se this is John Bailey, the Epic Voice, and you're watching VOBS.TV, Monday nights at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9.30 Newfoundland. Minus four, are we at minus 4 dB? We're at minus 4 dB on VOBS. Every Monday, 9, 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific. Voiceover Body Shop. I love when they talk BS about you. You know, voiceoveressentials.com has never had a more successful new product introduction like the new multicolored LED voiceover recording sign. And, and, and we told you last week, an unscientific survey finds that female users choose purple as their choice of 20 colors available, and the males split evenly between the traditional red and uber cool blue. One talent ordered two signs, so both his mother-in-law who lives uh, with him and his wife would know when, when to keep a lid on the sound. But it's not just those cool little things that he has, like the signs and various other pieces of equipment. What they've got over at a voiceoveressentials.com is some of the best hand-picked stuff that you need for your home voiceover studio. Harlan Hogan has done a great job of finding these things for you, little things like this, this strap that will hold the, the ABS strap that will hold a boom mic in place. I don't know why I keep mentioning it. It's just one of my favorite products. Uh, but also the Signature Series uh, stuff that he's got, the Signature Series VO1A microphone, which, of course, George is sitting in front. George and Amber are sitting in front of this evening. And uh, the Porta Booth, the Porta Booth Pro, the Porta Booth Plus, and the Porta Booth itself. They're great units, great for when you're on the road along with his signature series headphones and various other cool things, along with the voiceover recording sign and its 20 flashing colors. So go over to voiceoveressentials.com. All you got to do is go to the bottom of our page, which you are watching our show on right now, and you click on the picture of Harlan, and it'll take you right there, and we want you to buy every last thing he has. You can do it over 10 years, or you can do it all tonight. We don't care. But go over there and buy his stuff. Voiceoveressentials.com. Harlan Hogan, thank you for being with us for six years with VOBS. You're competing for work with other voice talents, and every one of them has a powerful, unique, engaging voice demo. Your voice demo needs to stand out from the crowd in an unforgettable way. Now it can. Visi Visual Voice Demos take your awesome voice demo and add a visual element, reinforcing your brand. Your demo will leave a lasting impression because it stimulates two senses instead of just one. Your voice is your livelihood. You need an effective demo to open doors of opportunity. Blow those doors down with a Vizzy visual voice demo. Visit VizzyDemos.com for more information. Your audio demo never looked so good. Take your voice demos to the next level, a visual level, with Vizzy visual voice demos. Mention Voice Over Body Shop and get an additional 10% off. All right, it's time for questions from the viewers. <laughs> questions time. Amber's been so nervous about this, and I'm telling you, you're going to know okay. all. And if you don't know, just say, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> no problem. Don't worry about or it. Or make something up. Or make, make something up, and I'll put a little asterisk above your head. This is made up. No. Okay. Uh, first question is pretty an easy one. This is a nice little way to get a plug in from our producer, Catherine. She says, Where can moms and dads buy this World of Liberty app? <laughs> Thank you, you Catherine. <laughs> uh, World of Liberty is in the Apple iTunes store, okay. uh, Google Play, and Amazon. And oh. there's a worldofliberty.com if you want to learn more about it. And I have some videos up on the website to let you know about the inspiration behind it. You've gone fully cross-platform. That's big yes, time. Yes, cross-platform. Very nice. Absolutely. Cool. Well, that's the way to do it. Thanks, Catherine. Uh, <laughs> question from the the Lovely and talented Maxine Dunn. Question for Amber. Amber, you're so gorgeous and have wonderful energy. Are you planning on doing? Are you planning on doing any on-camera work for television or film, as well as voiceovers? Well, thank, thank you for this awesome you. interview. Oh my gosh! Thank you so much. 
Um, I want to. I'm trying to. I I am in acting class every week um, for my voiceover, but it is theatrical play act play. Uh, you know the uh, foundation of acting class, and mm-hmm. I'm in a singing for actors class. So, like I said, I'm always working on it, and I am gonna try to get an on camera agent this year. How it's about hard. how about uh, improv? Oh yes, I've done Groundlings and oh. the other UCB. Oh yeah, Upright Citizens Brigade. Upright Citizens. Yeah. yeah. Um. So absolutely, it's just good exercise for your instrument, your body, acting, everything. Absolutely. Yeah. And your Thank brain. You. And your brain. Yeah. And your brain. Yeah. Here's yeah. Got to be quick. One from uh, Devox. By the way, Maxine, near and dear to my heart, she's my girlfriend. She's she was asking <laughs> where are these folks located. I happen to know Maxine's in Colorado, oh. so there are people all over the place. Cool. Devox. We had, we've known Devox a long time from this show. We don't know who he is. Who he, we don't know his real name. And he's always <laughs> oh, where here, he's from. And he always <laughs> asks great questions. So Devox says, uh, Amber mentioned working with people like Rob Paulson, et cetera. What are some of the things you've learned working with people like that? What things make one a better dialogue partner? And that's a kind of two questions. So, I mean, so what are maybe a couple things over the years you've gone, man, I'm so glad I got to work with Rob because now... Now this right. is something that's in my toolbox. You know, um, working with the pros like Rob and other BJ Ward, Alarjo, they're so comfortable in their skin. They're so they're pros, and mm-hmm. they're they just everything is happy. That's what's so great about voiceover to the community. That everyone's always really happy and glad to see each other. Mm-hmm. It's. When I go to an audition, I don't feel, I know it's an audition and the competitive competitive thing is there, but it's really not there because everyone's so genuinely nice and happy to see each other, you know, uh, but that I've learned a lot of things like that from him. And uh, he's the dad in my, as I said before, in World of Liberty. So I got to be in the booth with him, um, being Liberty and he was playing my dad. So it was fun because he's just on it, on it, on it. And it's so natural. So I hope I answered your question. But it's it's so, it rubs off on you to an audition. It rubs off on you not to be so nervous. Just relax and enjoy the experience and the job. So. Ah, yes. And, and, we, and we forgot, Devox is from Japan. Ah. Cool. Lots of animation in Japan. Oh, and, there's and you, did I eliminate that buzzing noise, Andrew? Yes. <laughs> I'm the man. You guys have no idea what I just did, but I'm very happy. Uh, <laughs> so am I. <laughs> uh, next question from the chat room. Yeah, Dev, I'm so glad we know that Devox is in Japan now. How cool is that? Um, no, he's been there. Can I add one thing to the yes. Devox? Yes, please. Tag, tag away, tag on. You know what's so amazing about these voiceover actors at that level, they're so generous. They're so generous, you can't help but feel good when you're there working with them. You're just, yeah. it brings out the best in you, your best performance. So I hope that helps. Absolutely. I know it's okay. going to help a lot of people. Uh, JHB Voice 28. Love these handles. Uh, <laughs> Hello, Amber. Hi. You are a delight. Ah, thank you. He or she says. You have been mentioning continual training. Is there any one place or places you suggest for training in the L.A. area? Is What, what are some of the things that you've found sure. just absolutely have done you, you know, churned your career or boosted you sure. up? Sure. Uh, when I first had my very first meeting with my agent that wasn't my agent yet, uh, they really liked me at the time, but they said I still needed some more training. You know, I was really new. So... Uh, I went to Calmanson in Burbank, and they're great. They have so much to offer. I also went to uh, Bill Holmes co- Compost Production oh, yeah. in North oh, Hollywood. The Voice Doctor. Yeah. The Voice yeah. Doctor. He's awesome. He's been in my career since the very beginning. He made my VO demos that I still use today. It's been 20 years. So no kidding. He's, wow. uh, he's just so talented and smart. I love the guy. So he's great. Um, And I've done uh, 
six four week classes that you could sign up for at Voice Tracks Voice Tracks West mm-hmm. or uh, yes, and acting there. classes, of course, and improv is so important, as I said before. Mm-hmm. Groundlings, all those ones that I said, they all have beginning classes that you can just go and do it. Just do it. Now you've brought up the word demo. Oh, yeah. Um, that makes me think of something else. So you said you've worked on these demos quite a long time ago now. Yeah. Have you found they've stand, stood the test of time, or do you find that you need to refresh them? From I time did to time? refresh my animation demo uh, about three years ago. I had to. Yeah. Because. My first animation demo is super cartoony. Right. And like I was saying, a lot of times they want natural, real voices. So right. I had to get that into my demo. It's like a character so, versus a caricature. That's you know? right. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So I redid mine with Bill mm-hmm. about two years ago, three years ago. And is it a combination of yep. real material that you've pulled off of shows that sure. you've done? Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. I used as much of that as I could. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Excellent. Yes, thank you. Oh, JHB cool. is J. Horace Black. I know J. Horace. He's actually been yeah. here in the audience in person. Oh, cool. So, That's um, right. His part two is knowing what you know now, are there any specific people or places you would prefer to train at over than over others? Well, I think you may have kind of answered that, but yeah. um, you know, if you were to start all over again, would you go with the same people if you really feel like you've you yes. got lucky with some of these? Absolutely. Yeah, these Absolutely. folks. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's great. Cool. All right. And you meet people uh, along the way that yeah. give you help, give you uh, Chris Zimmerman. She's a fam- voiceover director. She's been, mm-hmm. and Ginny McSwain. They were in the beginning of my year, in the beginning of my career. Sorry. They were very supportive. You know, you're going to meet people that want, like I said, they're generous people and they want you to succeed. Yeah. They want you to do good. So, yeah, I've been very lucky to be in this community and yeah i wouldn't i'm yeah i'm happy with the way that's, it went. that's great yeah well, that's good yeah it's it, it's it, it is a great community it is um question from joy baker uh do you know the age of the intended audience when you record well usually yeah um but some cartoons are for adults, uh, adult swim and stuff. Mm-hmm. I don't usually audition for that stuff. Yeah. I don't know why. My my voice over the microphone comes over sugar sweet. My biggest, uh, what is it? My biggest uh, block that I really have to work on is being the bratty girl mm. or the mean girl. Okay. I really have, that's something I really have to work on. Mm-hmm. And... So, did that answer the question? Oh, the age. Um, not, yeah, like when, not you, when you get the script, does it say on there, this is, the audience is this age range or something? Is that something These that's part days, of the specs? It, not really. Yeah. It seems like the audience is such a big scope now for yeah. Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon, and even, you know, it's not really. Speaking of Adult Swim, um, some of that stuff's pretty out there, pretty out there stuff. Yeah. Do you ever have any concern... Are there scripts that you would that come across, come into your inbox that you go, <laughs> eh, I'm not going to do that one? Is, do you ever get scripts that you say won't touch that? Yeah, or are you afraid really. that your voice might get associated with something? Does that ever happen to you? Not really. Yeah. But like I said, my voice is really not pigeonholed, but yeah. it's a certain niche, like you said earlier. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So not really. Mm-hmm. Not yet anyway. Yet. Okay. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Maxine had another question uh, about uh, your home studio setup, since that was what we like to talk about here. Do you have a vocal booth and what microphone do you use? <clears throat> Excuse me. Thanks, Maxine, for the tech question. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> I, I have an Audio Technica mic mm-hmm. that plugs into my laptop, and I use Sound Studio software because I'm not really quick and smart about that stuff. Um, I don't really like to record at home on yeah. my own. I really like direction and feedback. I want it to be the best it can be. So, no, I don't have a vocal booth. Um, I live in L.A., so I could usually get into a booth. if right. I Yeah, so, yeah. But if I'm traveling or something, I'll go into a closet with a towel or <laughs> mm-hmm. do the best I can in a hotel room. You know, for auditions. Yes, for if auditions, I have yeah. to right. do it, yeah. 
So if you're, right. if you're playing Audio Technica directly into the Mac, it's probably at AT2020, maybe yeah. something like yeah, that. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah, yeah that's exactly what and it is. And then Sound Studio yeah. is a great program. It was really the one I was recommending to a lot of voice talent oh. until Twisted Wave came along. Oh, I have that me, on my phone. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, that's a good app on the phone. They have a desktop version, which to me kind of eclipsed oh. Sound Studio now. I'll check if it out. If you can use Sound Studio, you can use Twisted Wave. Oh, okay, it's very, thanks. very easy. Okay. Bottom line is use whatever works. Yeah. Use what works, yeah. right? It's just a tool. Right. Um, but, you know, certain things come along and we go, ooh, shiny object. And then Twisted <laughs> Wave kind of took over for me and a lot of people. But Sound Studio, I don't know if they update it anymore. I don't know if it's know. still current. But, hey. I'll if check. You, if it launches and it records <laughs> every day, keep using it because it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I do like Twisted Wave. It is on my phone. Mm-hmm. So I have used that on vacation. Cool. And uh, I think this is the last question in the queue. This one comes in from Nathan Cundiff. Is it possible to audition slash voice on this project remotely from a place like East Tennessee? So I'm not like sure which project. The Liberty, I, th I think he's talking about Liberty. Oh, gotcha. The Liberty Project. So in other words, casting? casting, does it require that you be accessible in Los Angeles? Or do, they, do you ever cast folks from outside? For of Liberty? Other? Yeah, for Liberty, I believe, is what uh, he's talking about. Not yet, I haven't. Yeah. I've mostly went through my agency. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. it's a way for me to give back to them. Right. Because I do it under the new media agreement. Oh, okay. And even though I don't, you know, that's made for small productions. Yeah. You don't have to pay. But I would never do that. I would want to pay them for yeah. their time. Yeah. So, um. Yeah, I don't. I haven't had to go outside of LA, mm -hmm. only because, like I said, I want to use my agency. But yeah, I mean that's a lot of what you know this business is about is taking you, care of the people that help you right. along as well. That's right. You know, and it's like sometimes you want to obviously, so to so, so to speak, spread the love around that's and right. maybe open it, but you, you've got this sort of family or this relationship yeah. that's brought you along and helped you along. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense that you're going to go there yeah. when it's time to cast. My agency's very much like a family. They've, yeah. They took me on when I had zero experience. Mm -hmm. And I've been with them for 19 years. That's well, pretty that's good. Because, yeah, that's because you're so darn talented. Well, and that's, that's yes. the important part. Nah. The bottom line. Well, thank you. That's very yeah. nice. Well, thing. Amber, you've been great and you've been delightful tonight. We really appreciate you putting up with us oh, thank you for <laughs> here everything. on VoiceOver Body Shop. Thank you so and, much for uh, all the kind words. Thank you. Well, you're quite welcome. And uh, we'll see you again soon. And you're welcome in our studio anytime. Oh, great. Thank you. Have fun in Buffalo. <laughs> thank you. Having a riot. Thank you so much. Thanks so much. <laughs> great to see you. All right. We'll be right back. Learning never ends. You continue to grow. Edge Studio has grown. Pursue multiple disciplines in tandem and grow your career. We've added new courses in a new curriculum. We picked the best coaches from the community of working voice actors. A new technology division, engineering and consulting, led by George Whittem. Follow your dream. Sign up for advanced learning or register for an introduction to voice acting or foundation studies program. See it all now at the new edgestudio.com. Seriously? VOBS is still on? Seriously? V having dinner tonight? How about having some VO too? Voiceover Body Shop. Have some voiceover with your dinner tonight on Voiceover Body Shop, 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific. Pacific. Having dinner tonight? How about having some VO too? Voiceover Body Shop. Have some voiceover with your dinner tonight on Voiceover Body Shop, 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific. Hi, your VO friends. You say you ain't booked a VO gig in seven years? And your demo is so old that you can hear the clicks from the stock music records? And you hear so much tape hiss that you run to the sink to see if the faucet is running? And the engineer used so much echo on your voice that it sounds like it was recorded in the Grand Canyon. And the scripts seem a bit dated, too, advertising the new and improved 1938 Plymouth Road King. <gasps> Is that what's been troubling you, Bunky? Well, lift your head up high and take a walk in the sun. 
Your demo can be killer too. Just contact Uncle Roy at AtlantProductions.com and book yourself a shiny new killer demo. Show your stick to and show the world you'll never give up, never give up, never give up. That dream. And we're back. <laughs> It's late here in the East. It's usually like <laughs> seven thirty right around now. Yeah, no, it, I know. Anyway. We're, we're running a little late tonight, but uh, we we're here. We made it. We got it. We had a great time with Amber. Great time. We certainly did. Wish you could have been here yeah. in person. That's right. Now next week, I'm not going to be there. I'm going to be on an airplane. Next week's going to be we, really interesting. Tell us about it. <laughs> <laughs> so we're trying something new next week. We're going to have a guest host. We've had guest hosts in the past. We've had we've had John, our buddy John. Uh, we've had on um, we've had Dave Cavassier. But next week we're going to have Lori Allen, and in studio here as our as our guest host, which is going to be a blast because well, Lori Allen, right? I mean, so we're going to can't have, get better than that. <laughs> it's going to be fun. <laughs> Um, Rick Wasserman and Rachel Butera are the guests, and they'll be talking about their coaching company that they are now doing together. They're both working together, which is pretty cool. Interesting mix of personalities, which you'll see next week. So I can't wait to see the replay on that. That's going to be fun. Uh, yeah. On May 22nd, Sarah Jane Sherman, recently head casting director for Disney, and we hear that she's actually casting now. So. Uh, Fantastic. Pay attention to that one. Keeping the Disney thing going and the animation voices. I, I love it. We've had a heck of a run with animation voices. Um, yeah. Then we're going to have a Memorial Day off. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. We're going to be <laughs> doing Memorial Day. Then we'll have on June 5th, J.J. Jurgens, who is a promo voice. Um, and yep. then we'll have on June 12th, David H. Lawrence. Oh, David H. Lawrence is coming in. That's cool. David H. Lawrence the 17th. I don't know what he's talking about, but... Oh, he's going to talk about... He's going to talk about doing voice acting on camera. Oh, that's in right. his class with that. So how how timely with uh, what Amber's been working on lately, going on camera. Yeah, absolutely. Well, donors of the week. Donors of the week, as we always do have new donors on the show, which is so nice of you guys. Um, let's take a look. Let's take a look at the inbox. Take a look and look at who's in the box. Uh, Mike Martin. Thanks, Mike regular donor of the show he's a subscriber uh eric aragoni just sends us money just because because um voiceover dude that's cam cornelius thanks cam he's a subscriber sends him money every single uh server every single month and maria Macus. thank you maria eric aragoni there he goes again i think we looped around to last week there so thank you so much for all of our don donors to the show we really appreciate it we really do. Also, you can buy the OBS logo gear at, at right here on our website. Just click on that red sash above me, I think. That's right. If you want yeah. to find out what's going on at Edge Studio, my employer, best thing to do yes, is I do. follow them on Twitter. Just go to Twitter and put in at Edge Studio. All the latest stuff we're doing, the links to the latest shows, it's all right there. Go take a look. All right. And you can see the show logs also on our website. And if you don't like watching TV, but who doesn't, uh, you can listen to the podcast, where you, which you can get anywhere that you get podcasts. That's right. So the audio version out. is available at any time. I love listening to log shows. It's one of my favorites. I listen to TV shows in podcast form. I kind of I like, right. I like it. All right. And if you want to be in our studio, let us know if you're going to be in the greater Los Angeles Angeles area and you couldn't get on Jeopardy, you can come watch our show. Right. Uh, and all you have to do to do that is email us at the guys at VOBS.tv. So we subject show our, our illustrious audience. audience to Andrew. Do we well, have let's show them the audience, camera? Cam. There There's we are. Us. There's Steve Tardio. Hey, Steve. Hey, Steve. <laughs> he's he looking know, wide awake. He's on camera. <laughs> he looks as awake as Ari does there. <laughs> so, anyway, you can be oh. here, enjoy snacks, and hang out with the dogs. Right. All righty. Um, we'd like to thank our sponsors, of course, Vizzy Video Demos. Colin Hogan and VoiceOver Essentials. Uh, VoiceOver Extra. Edge Studio. Source Elements. Video to Go-Go in the Rehearsal app. And, of course, our good friend Uncle Roy at Antland Productions, where you can get yourself a killer, killer diller demo. Uh, have to thank Marcy, who is sound asleep behind me here right Aww. now, because it's 1030. Uh, <laughs> our producer, Catherine Curridan, for getting us great guests like Amber. Anthony Gettig uh, in the uh, chat room mod tonight. Thank you, Anthony. 
And thank great job tonight, Anthony, and thank you for your patience. Uh, and of course, our crack floor producer, Andrew Bushwitz. Oh boy, we for, threw him curveballs tonight, and he, uh, he 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 was on his game tonight. Yes, and Jack DeGolia for show notes, and of course Lee Penny for being Lee Penny. Well, that's going to do it for us tonight. Thanks for hanging in there with us on Voiceover Body Shop. Uh, we'll be back next week. Well, I won't be, but you're going to have a great show anyway. Uh, I'm Dan Leonard. And I'm George Whittem. And this is Voiceover Body Shop. Or VO BS. All right. Have a great week, everybody. Be well. Every Monday, 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific. Voice over body shop. I love when they talk BS about you.